I can't characterize it this way. Based on the things that I've read in there, there were things that were either done improperly or should have been done and weren't. And uh, with that, it causes me great concern. Uh, I've been one that has called for a, a second special counsel to investigate what actually went on within the Department of Justice and FBI. The vast majority, uh, the overwhelming majority of our FBI uh, law enforcement uh, officers uh, are tremendous public servants who do an outstanding job. I do think there were some very poor decisions uh, made at uh, some very senior level uh, uh, positions within the FBI and DOJ uh, that fundamentally undermine uh, who we are as a nation. Uh, for anybody to be able to spy on American citizens, you should have a very, very high bar to be able to satisfy before you, you do that. I have read the Democratic memo, and if they'll change some of the factual uh, issues along with some of their sourcing issues uh, in that, I, I fully support releasing that as well. I'm, I'm about full transparency. I would release the 1.2 million documents that have been provided to the Intel Committee. Anytime <laughs> that you have anything that is coming out that potentially would not be flattering for your agency, you're going to see major pushback. This is not the, you know, the only pushback we're going to see. If it's released, you're going to see unbelievable spin that, you know, it doesn't mean this and we didn't do that. And, and, and so you're going to see that. I can tell you that uh, I'm going to let you judge for yourself as a good reporter. And when you start to look at that, I think you'll start to ask several questions. You know, what was included? What was not included? You know, any any time that you spy on American citizens, there needs to be an unbelievable high bar, and we have to make sure that our Fourth Amendment uh, process is certainly secure and intact.